Fala galerinha que vai trazendo mais um vídeo pro canal. Estamos agora com o lançamento. Agora no dia 2, o jogo é o Indica. Esperei muito tempo para esse joguinho. Estou com ele desde o dia 25, né? Estou gravando hoje, dia 25, então pode ser que tenha patches de correções e algumas mudanças no game, tá? Então hoje é dia 27 que eu estou gravando, então pode ter algumas autorizações, é, melhorias no game também, do FPS, tá? Estou jogando a GTX 1060, né? Eu deixei aqui o jogo, vou mostrar aqui para vocês. Aqui é configurações de vídeo. Tela cheia. Alto. 60 FPS. Tentar chegar no 60, que não vou conseguir mais. Né? Deixei no alto para ver a qualidade melhor, tá bom? Então já se inscreva, deixa o like, compartilhe. Não vai ser uma gameplay comentada, né? Então, vocês vão ver só a gameplay em si. Eu não vou ficar comentando, tá bom? <cười> Então, esse é o Indica. Ela é uma freira que tem voz na cabeça do demônio. O demônio conversa com ela. É, é bem, bem trash. É bem, bem legal, cara. O jogo é bem interessante, sim. Então, espero que vocês curtam. Deixa aquele likezão. Se inscreva no canal. Compartilhe com seus amigos aí. Então, vamos nessa. Começando agora a Indica. There's a basket for Smaragda in the warehouse. She's waiting. What does it mean to be truly righteous? Chastity despite. Our heroine did not know the answer to this question and preferred never to dwell on it. If it were up to her, she would have chosen the quiet life of a nun. However, destiny had something different in store for her.
I'm sorry. Maybe I can help. You're the last person I need right now. Get lost. I'm sorry. For the sake of the prayers of all the... Stesha, do you have something prepared for Smaragda? It's cold today, isn't it? <laughs> oh, potato. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The sisters laughed, Indica. Christian love is known to be patient, merciful, and faithful. However, in a lowly human sense, they didn't love her that much. To be completely honest, they didn't love her at all. Many of them felt nothing but disgust for her. Indica, however, was not to blame. Were it not for the voice that was inculcating ideas in her, unforgivable for a Christian, she would have been a virtuous and rather mediocre nun. Indica's biggest dream was for that voice to leave her alone once and for all. 
Her entire life became a struggle, a painful resistance. No matter how hard she tried, no matter how much she tortured herself, the voice grew louder and more convincing every day. Bring some water.
is above fasting or prayers. Indica didn't understand why she needed to retrieve the water from the well if there was a pump next door that from a sacred spring. She didn't understand why drinking from the spring was allowed, but cooking soup was a sin. The well was only about 15 meters away from the spring. It was not possible to have any other water there. Even a tenth of it is the same. They say on Epiphany, even a drop of holy water blesses an entire canister. If that were true, a couple of evaporated drops from the spring would bless the puddles beneath her feet.
We haven't eaten even ten of them. With God's help, we'll make it to spring. No way. Sisters won't eat after her. Mother, the sign of the cross saves from the plague. But this, God forgive me. Glory to Smaragda, don't tempt me. I'm sending Evdakia to you. Don't let this one into the refectory. O oh, Son of God, accept me on this day as a communicant of thy secret supper, for I shall not divulge thy mysteries to thy foes. I shall give thee no kiss akin to Judas, but as an outlaw shall I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May my communion of thy immaculate mysteries, O Lord, not be judged or condemned, but heal the body and soul. Servant of God, Seraphim, I shall Servant of God, Indica shall now take communion with the body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is forbidden to leave the convent without a blessing. Despite her requests, Indica had not been blessed to leave for a full year. When she was tasked with delivering the letter, it took her completely by surprise. Even though she did not know the contents of that letter, she could not shake the feeling that it would play an extremely important, perhaps critical, role in her life. Now that I know what's in it. What is in it? What's 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 in it?
the sake of the prayers of all the saints, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Tisha, I need to go to the other side. Georgie, pirate, be quiet. The animals feel the unholiness. They're just happy to see me. Tisha, I'm sorry. The animals feel the unholiness. I brought you some apples. Orlovka, your favorite. Tisha, I must hurry to the train. and fall again. Don't worry, Tichon, I understand. Forgive me, for Christ's sake. Tikhon has the key. Oh, what an imbecile. Indica loved 
Clichon. Imbecile was a medical diagnosis, so she was just using the word literally. In any case, Clichon couldn't hear her. Hypocrisy isn't really a virtue, is it? It was as if the convent didn't want to let her go. Even though she knew there was no place closer to God, she yearned to leave it, at least for a short time. Not true! I... The smell of rotting old women that even incense could not cover. Half of the sisters couldn't even read. Even if the abbess was literate, she surely didn't go out of her way to use that skill. Just like... The devils work from her dentures with her finger. Indica hated endless prayers that were repeated so much they lost their own... Jokes hated the fuming candles, the rotting potatoes, the never-ending advice and lectures, the humility, the fear of God, signing the cross over her mouth after every yawn, before entering the temple, after crying, after leaving the temple, after entering the refectory, praying before entering her cell, before going to sleep, before having a meal, repenting what she had thought or heard, listening to the depressing sister's choir. The dissonant change ringing, signing the cross, fasting, apologizing, pretending to be interested in the lives of the saints, apologizing, repenting, praying, apologizing, endless oaths, the black veils, apologizing, crying, apologizing, apologizing, apologizing. Indica hated Smaragda's tasteless cabin. Half the sisters couldn't even read, even...
I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, what, what, what are you doing here? You. The cloisters is here! Huh. What, what, nun what is doing? fine. The conventual is here! The nun. Listen, you're, you're lucky to b bump into me. I, I, I keep missing and I'm, I'm not g good at this. <laughs> Just, what? Go, 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 go. Get out of here. What? What? Uh, who's there? to bump into him. He's not a great shot. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I can help if you let me. No, I don't think it can be helped. His nobleness has decided to listen to the visitation one last time. So let him listen. Don't interrupt. Excuse me, what, what happened here? Have you heard the joke about a crowbar and a train toilet? So, there was this train with a bunch of convicts. They put a spring between two carriages while the train was moving. They tried to plan an escape, I guess. How many died? Mostly fugitives. Many of them were shot. Never had to care for the sick. Me? Of course. We often have to. Then come with us to the station. All the wounded are there. He says the wounded are waiting at the station and then injects a corpse with morphine. Maybe out of respect for his dying wish, or for the size of his epaulets. What do you think?
husband. Husband. I guess he was loved. No. Stop! Lost your nerve, huh? What do you stop me? Since when do you obey me? Don't worry. Fear is a natural reaction, life-saving in most cases. What is your goal? To help the girl or show what a hero you are? Exactly. If you're trying to help, there's no chance. Listen to her. Doesn't like getting abandoned in the middle of an act. What? What? Did you see the size of that thing? Maybe you wanted to join them. <laughs> Not bad. 
Federal. Turn that off, you motherfucker. Spark out of the game. Piece of shit. Fuck you. Hold on. Wait! Quiet. Stop yelling. You've saved me. And I, I... I've saved someone too. Oh, God. A little more and she could have... Lord, Lord have mercy on for us. And you didn't see. She got away. Well, well, I, did, I didn't... I don't know how much. But if it weren't for me... I can't deliver our sinners from... Sorry, wh what is your name? Ilya. Indica. You know, they say that every hour that a patient doesn't get medical attention, their chance of survival is halved. Crazy thing to say, to be honest. It makes no sense to generalize like that. Do we include every case, even a pricked finger? No idea where to take it or where it came from. Sister! Did you arrive safely? No incidents? Kasiu, is that you? Wait a second! <laughs> oh. Hey, you drop your weapon. D drop it. You drop your your weapon. <laughs> throw, throw your rifle here. Don't turn your don't turn your conscience with sin. You're going nowhere, mate. All right. N -n -n yeah. Manage. Well, well, manage. I've got nothing to lose. <laughs> Fine, just well, don't shoot, all right? Do it like this. Get on. Get on him. I'm telling you, go. Go. Get, get on. Going. Going! I'm telling you! Oh, well. Find you, huh? Come on in! Just come back! So fast. Uh, yeah. 
Hey. Hey. Are you wounded? Rushing so much. Sorry. We're doing no more than five verse an hour, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do you understand it, huh? Is he talking about the word versed or how to start an engine? I grew up in a bike shop. My father sold them. In Spasov. Why in Spasov? No, 
In Goradishi. Never been to Spasa. That's where I grew up. <laughs> the man's logic is flawless. Uh, are you embarrassed to be so close to a man? She's been waiting for that. He's quite a looker, huh? Thick boy. Uh, I must smell awful. You know, they, they kept us in the train for three days. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> She likes it. Oh! Pardon. Come on, come on! Grab her tips! Hey! Stop pretending! He's just like the men you imagine in your room when you're... Enough! All right, c calm down. Is he a bandit or a sissy? Hold on to your seat, for God's sake!
Are you all right? I'm sorry, can I take a look, please? Oh, there's nothing to look at. Better give me an injection. Oh my god. I'm afraid this will happen. If we don't amputate it, you won't survive the afternoon. Our prison doctor, he told me the same thing. Word for word. But that was over a week ago. And he didn't do anything? Sadly, the only surgical equipment he had was a, was a rusty wash basin. Very funny. All right. All right. Don't, don't worry. It should be like that. Only like that. I'm, I'm also talking to God. To God? Great. You need to get up if you don't want to lose something else to frostbite. Whoa, 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 whoa. 